Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now is Jeremy Corbyn absolutely justified with his point of order? Now, I know this happened on Monday, and you could very much have already seen it, but I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing this today after we've watched the clip where Jeremy Corbyn raises a point of order on a number of issues from West Street in to PMQs. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise on a point of order for which I've given you notice and the member for Ilford North. At uh, last Wednesday's Prime Minister's question time, at the conclusion of it, I tried to raise a point of order asking why the Prime Minister had not given me prior notice of making reference to me in the chamber. And uh, during the few minutes that followed after that, you may not have heard it, the member for Ilford North used what I consider to be very unparliamentary and actually quite uh, de demeaning language towards people who suffer from dementia or senility in our society. And this has led to a lot of people contacting me who are very upset about this because they have loved ones that they've lost to dementia. I'd be grateful if you could just set out, Mr Speaker, that this kind of language is totally unacceptable, as indeed is any other form of abuse of any type, and that it will not be repeated in this chamber, and you will absolutely not allow it to be repeated at any time. Can I first of all say to the right honourable gentleman, thank you for giving me notice of this point of order, and he raises two issues. On the first, the House's Rules of Behaviour document states, that you should notify colleagues whenever you intend to refer to them in the chamber, other than making passing reference to what they have said on the public record. I have reminded the House of the rule on numerous occasions. However, in this context, I think the Prime Minister's comments can be taken as a passing reference to the public record of the right honourable member when he was the leader of the Labour Party. To that extent, I am not persuaded that his notification in advance was required. However, courteous it might have been to have given it. And I would always say it is nice if we can let people know as a general good form. In any event, the right one gentleman raised the point with the Prime Minister in the statement which followed the PMQs and has once again been given the opportunity, and quite rightly, to put his side of the issue on the record. His second point, which I have greatest of sympathy, the second point to raise it is the comment said to have been made by the Honourable Member for Ilford North. I have to say, I, he's correct, I didn't hear the comment, which is not recorded on the official report, which I did check. Had I done so, I would have intervened, intervened because I consider it falls well short of the respectful language and the tone we should all demonstrate. However, I understand the Honourable Member has written to apologise to the right Honourable Member for Islington North and has had an opportunity to put his point on the record. And this gives me an opportunity to remind all members of the importance of good temper, moderation in the language we use in this chamber. <coughs> and certainly it is not a good example to use it against each other. And I think we should learn from this. Now then, I'm now going to move on, but I do thank the right honourable gentleman. So, was he justified? Well, for me personally, I think he does have a point to a degree especially the way he's been treated at PMQs. Even though I think the tactic of uh, dragging Jeremy Corbyn into using it against uh, the opposition, it's not a good tactic. But it can't be nice having your name dragged through the dirt every week, especially from a party that had a Prime Minister who's clearly a traitor to this country and a Russian stooge. Also, the West Street in situation... For me, West Street was bang out of order with a senile comment. And for someone whose dad died from dementia and Parkinson's disease, I found what he had, to, what he said, in pretty poor taste and unnecessary. And the thing is, I hope from this insulting remark, he learns his lesson, and I also hope that his apology was sincere. Whether it is or in, who knows. Now, let's get on to the reason why this clip is for today it's because all week i've been on a course that's been set up by the dwp it's to help me back get back into work see the thing is best i can hope for is remote working and so i'm on a level two digital technology course and as like i said i'm doing it all week from 10 a.m till 4 p.m then after i finish there i've been doing these videos as well 
but the thing is i've not had as enough time to do research recording getting everything done to the highest standard possible like i do all the titles i do all the recordings i watch everything that happens in house of commons best i can i work damn hard at this channel and at the moment i just don't have the time and at the moment i'm absolutely dead on my feet so today we'll just have the normal two one at eight and at 11 o'clock and the next one will just have the one tomorrow eight o'clock but then it's just for the week normal services resumed and then everything will be back to normal hopefully but anyway less of my woes you don't want to hear me prowling on about my life story do you do you think jeremy corbyn was fully justified let me know in comments below and anyway i shall leave the video here until the next time i shall bid you farewell and um, take care